If you boat at Lake Powell or Deer Creek Reservoir, you need to be aware of two major changes approved recently by the Wildlife Board. Lake Powell is infested with the invasive quagga mussel and Deer Creek is suspect. If you boat at these two bodies of water, the Wildlife Board made it mandatory that you must remove the drain plugs from your boat and not replace them until you get home. Another change for Lake Powell boaters is if your boat has been slipped or moored at Lake Powell for two weeks or more, you must contact the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources Aquatic Invasive Species Specialist at Lake Powell and arrange an inspection of your boat. If mussels are found on your boat, you'll be directed to a private business at Lake Powell. There you'll have to pay the business to professionally decontaminate your boat. You'll also still be required to allow your boat to dry for the required amount of time, 18 days in the spring and fall, 7 days in the summer, 30 in the winter, before launching anywhere else in Utah. At Lake Powell, the mussel infestation is severe and now lake-wide. This January, while we were there, we spotted quagga mussels in every canyon we ventured into. Most boaters that come to Lake Powell this summer will not see these quagga mussel colonies and the impact that they are already having at the lake because the waters will rise and cover these colonies. But believe us, they are there in every nook and cranny on the sandstone. Fines for knowingly transporting a boat that has mussels attached to it are really steep, 2000 bucks, And you also pay for any costs incurred to decontaminate and quarantine your boat. To learn more about the quagga mussels and how you can do your part, check out stdofthesea.com. So yeah, don't forget to pull the plug out of your boat and leave it out until you get home. It's probably a good idea just to leave it out until you go back out. That's usually what I do to ensure all the water gets out of my hole. Boy, we had some crazy weather here today. It was snowing, it was blowing, it was darn right cold. And now the sun's got maybe an hour before it sets and it's beautiful out here. Fish are actually starting to rise. Let's find out that recreation forecast now by turning it over to Kevin in the weather department.